return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in all the things whereto I sent it. How would I send my word to help a friend? I would imagine that I am hearing his voice, that he is physically present, that my hand is on him. I would then congratulate him on his good fortune, tell him that I have never seen him look better. I would listen as though I heard him. I would imagine that he is telling me he has never felt better, he has never been happier. And I would know that in this loving, knowing communion with another, a communion populous with loving thoughts and feelings, that my word was sent, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. It is only what is done now that counts, even though its effects may not be visible until tomorrow. We call not aloud, but by an inner effort of intense attention. To listen attentively, as though you heard, is to create. The events and relationships of life are your word made visible. Most of us rob others of their willingness and their ability to be kind and generous by our fixed attitudes towards them. Our attitudes unfold within us in the form of mental conversations. Inner talking from premises of 